I love my Usborne books so much. I have probably over a hundred of them already. And I was going to try to grab my very few favorites and make a quick video for One of their coolest lines of books is the pullback books. Okay, they shelve like a book. You can read them with your kid just like a book. But there's tracks on each page because on the very back, there's this cool toy. And you take it out and all you do is pull back like this. It's easy for even two year olds to do. And you can put it on the track and let it go. And your kids get to watch it go. And there's different subjects, trains, cars, planes, helicopters, pirate ships. I am in love with Usborne's very high quality, thick pop-up books. These have cool effects like you can pull things, you can open doors. They are very, very cool. Just look at how cool this is. That's the Halloween haunted house. The little smaller ones, they have like dinosaurs, gardens, um, different subjects. So cute. Look at these pop-ups. And they're such high quality too. My two-year-old has been all through them and they're still in one piece. Actually, she just turned three, but they're still in one piece. Look how pretty those are. One of the lines they're famous for is their Shine a Light books. I've got to just show you real quickly how they work. So, oh, this page is really cool. It shows the lightning. Let me shine a light under it. These are really cool books. This is how many people do you see on the train when you look inside of their tinted window. Cool. Right now, there are three peek inside of fairy tale books. If I'm gonna get somebody a gift, this is perfect. There's no way people do not like these amazing books. They have Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, or Little Red Riding Hood. This is Beauty and the Beast. Look at these laser cut and openings. The story is beautiful too. It's kind of retold a little bit. And there's flaps inside. My little one loves the flaps. Look at the look at the laser cut holes and everything. Peek inside a fairy tale, you gotta get one. Some of the favorites are the sounds book. There's garden sounds, jungle sounds, nursery rhyme musical sounds. You kind of have your kid find this little metallic button. This one's garden themed, so it's got really soothing sounds like buzzing bees or rain. I love this book so much. Something that Asborn has perfectly done is their Lifting Flaps books. There's nobody else who does this better. There couldn't be. It's impossible to show you how awesome they are, but I just kind of grabbed five of some that I think are really cool. If you have a two-ish, three-ish year old, poop is a big subject. And this book sold out so fast, and I'm still waiting for them to come in stock because some moms have already prepaid me for when this book comes back so that they will already be bought for them so they won't forget. It's very funny for little kids. Um, look how cool these books are. There's so many lift flap books. Look at that, you open the bat's wings. So cool. They're beautiful and there's so many flaps to lift. Some of them like the look inside, have flaps within flaps. This book is so, I mean, the pages are thick so there's not that many pages, but this is so full of information because of the flaps within the flaps. So if you wanna show them the stages of the moon, you can flip this flap and then flip this flap. And if you wanna show them kind of information about astronauts or the space station, just every flap you lift has so much information. And some of them even fold way out. Any subject almost that you could think of that you have a passion about and you want to share with your kids, or maybe your kids seem to have a passion about it, you can find it in the Usborne bookstore. And your kids will become immediately excited about it because of how fun these books are. I'm not kidding you. Some of them are like a picture book, but they have flaps in them. 
sometimes flops within flops. Kids love to lift the flaps. It gets them so excited about the subject. And this one's so cute. It's just about like what's in the zoo. Things that you know that they will love because they love going to the zoo. Most of the picture books, especially in the Kane Miller section, are so big. Look, look at my hand and look how big this book is. This is my favorite storybook. It's about Nibbles and he's cute and he likes to eat through books, but the point is how cool the book is. So he's eating through these classic books. So you get to this page and it's its own little cute pop out version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears with Nibbles who had jumped inside. And then he jumps to another classic, Little Red Riding Hood. Look, and he's like eating through this, this book. It's so cute. And then he's in Jack and the Beanstalk and he eats through the book. This is the coolest, coolest picture book. Another one of my favorite Usborne lines is their illustrated storybooks. They're amazing. These amazing books that fit in the palm of your kid's hand. Look at this pillow top. It's like this really soft, fluffy pillow top. And they have Aesop's Fables, Grimm's Fables, they have cool ghost stories, they have even a Shakespeare book. If you just go to the shop and search Illustrated, you'll see so many of these. They have combined volumes of only princess stories, only action stories, like Robin Hood and pirates fighting, and they're just amazing. My little girl loves to read these every single night. They're full of pretty illustrations and great stories. They also have awesome ones for bedtime. This one is the big book of little stories. They also have the five minute bedtime stories that are all like unique ones about cute animals. Um, look at the quality of the pictures. And they all are amazing. They're like heirloom books. They come with this cool little ribbon. They come with a matching color ribbon in every book. And I think you can just pass these down through your family. These wipe clean books are so perfect for little kids. It seriously keeps my kid busy while I'm cooking or doing any kind of thing I need to do. You just cut, if you cut it right here, you could just pull the pin out and put it back in in the same place every time. And these pages are really nice and thick. So they can color on them a million times and wipe them clean. It kind of prompts them to do different doodles or it depends on what book you pick. The first one I got was the alphabet and it taught my two-year-old how to trace the alphabet. They also have a lot of learning languages books. I think this one is so cool because I think the only way for us to learn Chinese is if we hear it pronounced. So they have these listen and learn books. And you open it up and all the pages are in the envelope. So you choose the one you want, you stick it in, and when you press go it knows which page you got in. And it will teach you how to say the words. And it will come out of the speaker so that while you're learning Spanish or whichever language you pick, you'll know that you're pronouncing it right. And there's so many cards in here, front and back. Their keyboard books are so cute. And at first it tells you kind of how to use it. And then you can go into playing your own song with the colors. Like that. And they even have a big one now that's that kind of goes out to here so you can play with two hands and it will teach you how to play with two hands. There's a huge selection of nonfiction $4.99 hardcover books called Usborne Young Beginners. You can pick from so many different subjects. Each one is $4.99. Again, hardback, really great quality book, full of really kind of a young kid's explanation of a really cool subject that you can choose. Great for preschoolers, elementary schoolers. Some of the storybooks are really fun and interactive like All Better or Little Bear Needs Glasses because they come with these cute little stickers. They're actually not stickers, they're vinyl. So they're very, very high quality, very reusable. And it will say, so-and-so got an ouchie. Can you help make them better by putting the band-aid on them? And a lot of kids are really all about how band-aids make them feel better. So this book is really fun for them. These things to spot or maybe the sticker books. Uh, the things to spot is basically like the same kind of 
idea as the Seek and Find books. Only these are cool because they co incorporate counting. So even though um, my daughter was only two, she, she at least knew how to count to ten so she could go through and she could count and find each one and it would keep her busy and happy. And then, of course, there's many different sticker books for boys or girls. So this one is a girl's dress-up book. For the boys, they have build your own car or build your own castle with knights in it, any kind of subject that you think your kid would like. 